Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Florian. Good to see you back. Hope you're all doing fantastic. So guys, I had many questions from you regarding a Fujifilm XS10 and how I get on with the F-Log or the 8-bit internal recording. As an example, the X-T3 and the X-T4, as we know, shooting 10-bit internally and the uh, Fujifilm XS10 is just 8-bit. So, because you guys are so interested in it, we're gonna have a look at it today. And this video is gonna be a two-part series, otherwise it's gonna be too long and no one wants to watch this half an hour long, 15, 16, 20 minutes long. So don't forget to subscribe because it's gonna be a two-part series where we're gonna compare the Fujifilm Access 10 to the X-T3 or the 8-bit to the 10-bit in a second part. But today we're looking into the 8-bit internal recording from a Fujifilm XS10. Before we go into the comparison from an 8-bit to the eternal simulation and manually graded, let me show you some B-roll and I would like to mention this B-roll got shot completely in a Fujifilm XS10 with the eternal simulation. And I done a slight color grade as well. Nothing else got changed, everything was internally shot. see guys and keep in mind I'm a solo shooter so everything you have seen got shot by me by myself alone on a tripod with a bit of tweaking in post and added some fake motion to make it a bit more attractive for your eye otherwise everything would have been pretty static however as you can see the image you get out of the 8-bit footage internally with the eternal simulation looks pretty good and pretty decent you got your highlights and your shadows and everything is pretty decent balanced if you ask me. Also keep in mind guys that YouTube compresses our videos. We're still uploading in 1080p but YouTube got their own algorithm to compress our videos. Therefore the quality suffers sometimes. But I still hope you can see later on when we're doing Eterna versus F-Log graded that you still can see a difference if there's a difference. So let's dive into some comparison between F-Log ungraded and graded and then we're doing the comparison between the Eterna and the F-Log manually graded. Now we have seen both sides basically. The simulation with the Eterna and the F-Log graded or flat. And then we have seen also flat F-Log versus graded F-Log. Now the question is what do you prefer more guys? Do you prefer the Eterna simulation which you can tweak in post a bit to boost up the color, bring down a contrast or bring down the shadows a bit, bring down the highlights. What do you prefer? What you have seen so far? I think both situations, both simulations or F-Log and Eterna got their benefits in different situations. If it's bright, 
and sunny outside probably it's beneficial to shoot f-log if it's overcast and you don't plan to do much color grading shoot eterna however my final conclusion will be definitely in the second part after we compare the fujifilm xt3 10 bit to the fujifilm xs10 8 bit then you will get my final conclusion guys what i think and how i will process to use either the Fujifilm Access 10 or the Fujifilm X-T3 in future projects. So guys, with that said, I hope this little comparison was somewhat of an eye-opener or helpful. And if it was, I would appreciate if you could hit the thumbs up button, like, comment and subscribe. And I'm gonna see you, my friend, in the second part very soon. Until then, cheers, guys. Yeah.